Hey, welcome back to Evil's Comics. This guy right here is Evil Mike, or Mike if you prefer, and this is going to be my new comic book pickups from July 26, 2023, with the couple that I left from 719. Um, but before I show you this hella massive stack and a story that goes with it, please like, comment, subscribe on this guy's channel. It does help. I'm always trying to grow my channel. Um, all the likes, the comments, the subscriptions, all that stuff helps, and it's why I'm here. The interaction, all of it's free, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, you might be in so inclined to hit the bell, you know, it lets you know when, you know, I drop videos because I have no schedule, I just drop them when I can. Alright, so I've got them broken down to indies, um, Marvel, and DC, so let's get into it. Um, first up, we got Boom Studios, The Expanse, Dragon Tooth, issue number four. And I went with Amos for, um, I think it's Amos, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but he is one of my favorite characters, he's the captain, um, and so far that read has been really good, just like the show actually. Um, next up we got Opus Comics, we got the Mothman, um, I think it's Chronicles, I think it was, but this is uh, issue number two, this is cover B, um, I don't think they have any more Frazetta art, so it's just going to be like random, but the first issue was actually pretty good. Uh, next up, going with the trend, Opus Comics, we got Frank Fazzetti's uh, it's Tales of Science Fiction, uh, issue number one. I couldn't pass that up with the shark and, you know, the Frazetta art, but that is uh, issue number one. Next up, we got Fantagraphic Comics, we got Ed, um, Ed Pisker's Red Room Crypto Killers, issue, issue number three. I have no, I think this is the only variant my, my um, LCS had, but it's still a fantastic read it is out there but a fantastic read uh, dynamite comics we got vampirella versus the superpowers issue number three with the jay lee cover one of my favorite artists and i don't pick them up enough uh image comics we got tenement issue number two um jeff lemire goodness i have no idea who does this cover but i love that i thought it was cool and creepy um, a big one on my list is Image Comics. We got Click Click Boom from Doug Wagner and um, I think it was John Dabbs, I think it was, um, was the artist. But I love the first issue. Really excited about the photographer killer kind of thing. I don't know. Um, issue number three of Nightclub. Now this is a price increase, but it's a double size issue. Um, most notably for the $1.99 price point. Now at $3.99, still a steal, but this is Nightclub, and I think it's issue number six, yeah. And this is the end of maybe the volume or whatever, but it's been great so far. I went with the black and white variant because I had my cover one was black and white. Um, and a book I can't read because I'm missing issue number two, but I, I plan to find it somehow. Image Comics, we got World Tree issue number four um, with the mistake variant because as you see, you know, she shot her and shot somebody in the head, but there's no blood on the mirror. And I thought that was blood. Nope, that's just roses. Um, you know, artist mistakes, it happens. Uh, we got a Blaze Comics, we got the Mighty Barbarians issue number four. Um, I have caught up with this series. This is a fantastic read. It's just a, a group of barbarians that have been slewn together to defeat the ultimate evil. I'm actually watching a series that's just like that kind of. Image Comics, we had Dead Romans, issue number five, series finale of this one. Um, and it's been a good read. I would say the art is a little better than the read, but it's still been pretty good. That's why it's still on the list. Um, Image Comics, we got Noctera Nemesis Special issue number one. Um, it's just you know after the end of Noctera. Now this one is a big one on my list, so I picked up um, both variants from both artists that I like. But this is uh, Image Comics. This is Mirka Indolfo and Laura Braga's Per Evil issue number one. This is the Laura Braga um, cover, and then of course. I picked up the Mirka and Dolfo cover, both of them being two of my favorite artists and Mirka being one of my favorite writers as well. I'm super excited to dig into that one and, and definitely get a review on that one. Um, 
All right, so getting into Marvel, we got The Incredible Hulk, issue number two. After that fantastic first read, it was a little bit horror-ish, but it was still great. Um, Marvel Comics, we got Hallow's Eve, issue number five. I think this is the series finale on this one until the annual, I think, in October. Don't quote me, maybe September. Uh, Marvel Comics, we got Hellcat, issue number five. It's an homage. I don't know who the homage is, but it does say it's an homage. Um, down here, but this is, should be the series finale on Hellcat, and if you are not reading Hellcat, you're missing out. This is probably one of Marvel's best right now. Um, Deadpool, issue number nine. I went with the X-Force variant with the Marilyn Monroe with the Deadpool. <laughs> uh, I couldn't pass it up. Also, there's some kind of printing area because my LCS had a issue scanning the barcode over here. It was just, I mean, the ink is all like blurred together. You, could, you can barely see that it's 399 uh, Marvel Comics, we got Daredevil and Echo, issue number three. I am behind one issue on this one, but the first issue is good. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a Maria Wolf uh, variant, but I might be mistaken. I don't know. But I think so, because it says Wolf over here. Uh, I just love it. I thought that was fantastic. Um, Marvel Comics, we got Cult of Carnage, Misery, issue number three. I love this cover. I, I, you know, it's not done by McFarlane, but I want to say this has McFarlane feels all over this cover. Um, Marvel Comics with association with Fox, we got Predator issue number five, and I think if I'm not mistaken on this one, it's a series finale or arc finale. I guess that's what we're gonna start calling Aliens and Predator, right? Uh, Marvel Comics, another one we got Spider Gwen Shadow Clones issue number five. It should be the series finale on that one. A lot of those, that's why those Marvel are still on my pull list because I wanted to finish the story kind of thing. All right, so we're getting into DC Comics, and I will show you the Night Terror stuff last. Um, DC versus Ruby, issue number six, the Mirka and Dolfo cover. And if I'm not mistaken, this might be the series finale on this one. It, but Ruby's been a good read. Um, at DC Comics, a milestone. We got Static Shock, issue number five. I love this cover, and this has been a fantastic read. I'm 100% milestone everything right now. I love milestone. Um, this is one from last week, but DC Comics, we got Superboy, Man of Tomorrow, issue number four. And I do like this cover. I had a couple variant picks. I know it's kind of, you know, with the, the mass amount of pinkish purple going on, but I, I, I love it. Um, I'll show this one last. I did pick up Superman, the, what is it, The Last Days of Lex Luthor, DC Comics, Black Label. It's a big format, but it's only six bucks. Um, I'm definitely excited about this one. It's about Lex Luthor dying and Superman is trying to somehow keep the man alive. All right, so let's get into the Night Terrors. I will show you. This is, uh, it should be Night Terrors issue number two, I think it is. I went with the, you know, hi-fi colors again to match my other variant. We got Night Terrors Detective Comics number one. And I want to say this is a uh, Ricardo Federici uh, cover and I do love when we get some new art from him um, I kind of was on the iffy about this one I wouldn't you know I, I know a lot of people are going to the Jenny Frizen cover um, but I'm a big gamer fan so I kind of went with this one but this is Night Terrors Harley Quinn issue number one with the you know pick your fighter um, variant um, and the variant is done by Hayden Sherman I have no idea who this character is. I'm a, at least a week behind on week ter on Night Terrors, but this is Night Terrors Angel Breaker, issue number one. I, I have no who clue who Angel Breaker is, but I thought that was pretty dope. Um, and this cover is by Ivan Tao. Next up, we got Night Terrors Titans, issue number one. This is a Dustin Nguyen cover. Um, I wasn't a big fan of a lot of these red and black ones. I did pick up the Joker one, but this one is fantastic. I love this one. It gets away from the nightmarish part of it, but it's still pretty dope. Um, one of my favorite characters, especially uh, Superman-centric right now. We got Night Terrors Action Comics, uh, number one, and with the Hank Henshaw, you know, Cyborg Superman. He's one of my favorite villains in DC Comics, and I could pass it. And that variant is um, Miko Suyan and Raulio Fajardo Jr. Pretty sure I messed that one up. 
Okay, last but not least, with this shout out to Ranger Sly. Ranger Sly asked in the comments if I grabbed this, and I passed it up because I thought you had to read the other world's finest that's going on. Um, I already gave it away, but this is DC Comics World's Finest Teen Titans, issue number one, and I went with the shiny foil goodness. I couldn't believe they have it, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, so I did promise a story at the end of this. Um, last but not least, I got some DC Comics with the hint of Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong. I know a lot of people are excited about that. I'm excited about it as far as a crossover, but you know, I mean, it's a crossover that that's excited as I get for it. But I do love all three of the franchises we're gonna see. Um, but there is a small preview in there if you're interested in it. And then I grabbed the ash can of Earth Divers, um, past, present, and future. It was just a free ash can they were giving out. I missed on Earth Divers. It was a series that I wanted to grab, but <clears throat> I don't know. I'll probably never read it. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. But I went ahead and grabbed it anyways. Okay, so the story. This looks like a mega stack, right? Mega stack. But honestly, I didn't pay that much for it. I used a like a coupon. My shop does these points where if you spend co every comic you, you buy, it's like a point. Um, so I was able to, you know, save up and scrimp and use a bunch of my points on this. So it looks like I spent a bunch. Actually, it was only 30 bucks. Can you believe that? 30 bucks! When he told me that, when he told me at the checkout what my total was, I made him turn the, the register around because I didn't believe that was my cost. Um, so it's been a great day. I cleared out my box. That's everything I'm caught up. Now it's just a matter of reviews. I mentioned there will be some reviews out of this. I'm already doing the night terrors. I'm definitely going to do per evil. I have some reviews on the back burner, especially a um, vicious circle and night terrors week two that I need to do. Um, but I will be pumping these out over the next you know couple days and stuff like that. So be looking forward to that if you are looking forward to that um if there's any reviews that you'd like me to do out of anything i grab previous present let me know it's just a comment down below i'll always try and fit it in it won't be top of the list of course i try and do you know people when people reach out i try and do first come first basis kind of thing um but you know just hit me up and i will try and get it in there i don't have that many reviews it seems like a lot but it's not it's not really that many um but that's all i got uh, uh, you know at this point all i can do is say thank you to everybody that subscribed that likes that that comments on my videos it really is appreciated that's why i'm on youtube is the interaction between fellow nerds like myself you know i don't get it in the real world i'm looked at like some kind of weird monster because i read comics and and i'm into nerdy stuff I don't know. Hey, but that's why I'm on YouTube, guys. But I'm rambling. I'll let you go. Y'all have a great, you know, new comic book day because that's what day it is. I'm going to try and get that out tonight, uh, uploaded and edited. All right, guys. I'll see y'all later.